Do you like cats? Do you like anime? Do you like those two things combined? Then you might enjoy today's sponsor, The Battle Cats. The Battle Cats is a super cute tower defense mobile game where you've put together a cat army for the purpose of world domination. Your cat soldiers can range from cute little blobs to weird abominations to giant anime waifus. The game can get pretty challenging, so plan out your tower and cat upgrades accordingly, and be sure to open up capsules to collect some uber super rare units to add to your army. You could summon this cute girl, or this cute girl, or even this cute girl, or... Ah! Starting on December 21st, the Battle Cats is celebrating the end of 2020 with limited edition Christmas capsules, featuring uber rare heroes like Santa Ku and the Snow Angel Twin Stars, available only from this set, plus fun holiday stages, cat food sales, and special gifts for all players on December 24th and 25th. Click the link in the description to download the Battle Cats and start taking over the world today. Well, I'm here with Emerichu and Didus. Say hi. Hi. And today, we're going to be making another tier list, because apparently that's still a thing on the internet right now. But we're not just doing any anime tier list. We're doing a ultimate romance anime tier list. Yay! Yay, Ooh. romance! <laughs> Emily, you sound so excited. No, we're, we're just here, literally just here to trash on Emily's like garbage Stop! truck. Tape. <laughs> if, if Anime Man's from the taste, the the was it the Trash Taste podcast, dude, then Emily's like the garbage truck. <laughs> so much like any tier list, we have S A B C D E F. S obviously being amazing, F being shit. Um, yeah. and if we haven't seen the anime, then like we can give like our speculations on what we've heard. Mm. But basically, we're making this together. So this is me, Emily, and Didus's like joint opinions on how it's just you and me, Joey, because Emily's not gonna contribute <laughs> to anything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's just gonna be me and Didus because we're the romance anime boys. I actually haven't seen this. Gotobun the Hanayome. What the heck are what? you talking about? Bro? I only know like English. <laughs> uh, what what's it called in English? Quintessential. You got like a, you got, like, a PowerPoint or something I can look at. <laughs> Wait, I need pictures, man. I need the visual cues, man. Oh, dude, Didus can't even remember character names. He goes off of like describing words. Yeah, I, I, I got like that's blonde MC, that's a uh, orange boy, that's blonde the bitch. MC. <laughs> that's angry bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one. Oh, 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 the the twin show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, by twins, you mean like five of them, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm quintuplets, right? Quintuplets. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's quintuplets. Yeah, it's quintuplets. I I read the manga uh, yeah. all the way through. I never watched the anime, so I can't say much about that. Okay, because I, I, I own the manga, but I haven't started reading it yet, and I haven't seen the anime. Oh no, I would say it's it's B tier because it gets boring at the end. But I really like the beginning and the middle. My favorite is the uh, Sundere one, the uh, the one I with the like butterfly. You're, I feel like you're just a fucking Sundari simp, though. Yeah. I, I, might, I might be, dude. Y your favorite wife is Asuka. <laughs> yes, <Ew. you're> <laughs> what, don't you me. Get the you're shit ew. out of here. What do you mean, ew? I know Ray it's basic. Is, I, uh, Ray is way better. What are you talking about, dude? Wait, Ray doesn't have emotions. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Asuka has anger <laughs> issues, dude. What are you talking about? Yeah, but, you know, she's hard to get. That's what makes her awesome, dude. No. <laughs> Bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this already, dude. <laughs> Alright, next one. Uh, what is, Which one's that? Oh, that's five centimeters per second. I, I never watched that, I, actually. I thought it was Because boring. people kept telling me it was boring, so I never watched <laughs> I it. I thought it was boring. <laughs> okay, you I, was really, boring? I really liked it. Dude, Emily thinks everything's boring, though. That's yeah, not that's true! Fair. That's true. I listen. Yeah. It's it's one of those... Okay, you know how you have you have those, like, anime films where it's gorgeous, but, like, Mm -hmm. It doesn't. I, it's very forgettable. Like Garden of Words, I thought that was really. Pretty, Yo, that was a good movie. What do you mean? Movie. <laughs> <laughs> more garbage takes, dude. I, was, I, I can't was stand boring. this. I thought it was boring. I'm sorry. It was beautiful. Oh it was gorgeous. I feel like you're just, I like, I feel like you're just not a fan of Shinkai films, though. No, I really love uh, Kimi no Nawa. I love that one. Okay. I think okay. Everybody, I think that's basic though. That's like that's basic. Yeah, that's basic. That's that's like, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like ice cream. I like vanilla. <laughs> I like vanilla <laughs> ice cream. Hey! Dude, Emily doesn't even like ice cream, dude. You don't like what? The f 
I'm not into the anime where it's like while it's visually stunning, like nothing happens. It's just very like here's Okay, two- I get that. I get yeah. that. But, but just, things happened in Garden of Words. I don't know what you're on about. I well then I I guess it, it just didn't stick in my head. She, okay, she doesn't like the dramatic emotional scenes where he's running out of the door. That was epic. All right, to be fair, to be fair, most of these romance animes are from like the guy's pr- perspective, so we I guess we feel it a little bit more. I guess, but I'll, because... I know a lot of girls who liked it. No, 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 no. Listen, the, the thing with these movies, especially with like really pretty like anime films, mm-hmm. it's it's so visually stunning. I get so distracted by it that I can't focus on the emotions the characters <laughs> are feeling. Eight brain, like, eight brain. Listen, listen, listen to this eight brain, dude. What do you, what do you have ADHD? When I, no, I don't. But when I like, if, for example, when I watched Machia and during the really emotional scenes, my focus wasn't like, "Whoa, what a compelling story." I was like, "Damn, those are really good." Like crying anime animated tears. She, like, she got know, the like, artist eyes, dude. I get it. It's like it's like filmmakers trying to watch the like films, you know. I so basically, it. what you're telling me is that your experience of watching Machia is basically the same as a deaf person watching. Machia. <laughs> <laughs> did you not? But did you not cry when they were crying? No. What the? F- <laughs> I'm gonna put five centimeters per second in. I don't know B. B. Yeah, I. It's it's a good movie, but it's definitely not my favorite Shinkai movie. So I'll put that I have no did- comment. I just I don't remember comment. anything. Like the thing is, my opinion for a lot of these, my opinion might be different if I watch them again. Because for some of these, I haven't seen them in years. Yeah, a lot of these I barely remember, so I'm like going off what I remember. Okay, next one. Oh, oh no, a landmine! Oh, this is a landmine. <laughs> okay, what didn't you like about Anohana? I it's okay. You can call me smooth brain for these opinions. Y- you're I smooth understand. brain. Yeah, you're smooth no, brain. not you. Yeah. You you have no say here. I have say because I, I know it's a great anime that belongs I, in the S tier. I I understand all the characters are supposed to be flawed. That's the whole point of the right. entire story. Right. But they are all so damn unlikable. I can't stand it. <laughs> what I is unlikable about them? Okay, I didn't care for Jintan. He was unremarkable to me. Menma, I like him. her only personality traits was that she was perfect and she's dead. And then Yukiatsu was super whack. I hated him. Popo was okay. Popo was cool. Dude, I love Yukiatsu. Whatever what? his name you is. like Yukiatsu? <laughs> yeah, I like how creepy Wait, he is. Who's, it was great. Who's Yukiatsu again? He's a creepy guy with the, with the wig. Oh, yeah. This fucking <laughs> psycho. <laughs> yeah, he's a psycho. That's the point. Emily, that's the point of anime. No, okay. it's, that's the point of anime. You have to make things extreme. I, okay, and then you have the glasses girl, who I don't remember her name because she was that unremarkable. Her right, one to be character- fair, yeah, yeah, she's her, the worst. Her yeah, one yeah, yeah. character trait was that she was like obsessed with Yukiatsu for some reason. I don't. Yeah, I don't think anybody that. likes her. I don't think anybody. Yeah, that likes her. that whole like side romance was a little whack. Not gonna lie, but like there were so many, there were so many little things. I got I got weirded out by the fact that men must aged up for like no reason, and I'm pretty sure it was so that it'd be less weird every time Yukiatsu and Jintan professed their love for her. I, I don't know, man. I think I think you're like thinking too much about it. To be honest, it drove me insane because the first couple episodes, it's it, the first couple episodes are just Jintan being like, "I swear to God, I saw Menma's ghost," and they're like, "Nah, you're crazy." <laughs> And then finally gets to the point where, like, Menma touches Popo on the back or something. He's like, I felt right. something. But then she's able to interact with physical objects. And then she writes on paper in front of them. I'm like, you could have done this from the beginning. No, okay. but then the next time she writes, the next time she wrote, they couldn't see it because they, they stopped believing. It's like Santa Claus. Emily, you have to understand that this is this is fiction. There needs to be some kind of story, right? Like, dude, you, okay, you know, you know what's annoying? You know what's annoying? Dude, Emily, Emily complained about the scene and Toradora, right? Okay, yeah. and I'm like, bro, this is this is like anime. Like, this is not realistic. I, it's I, supposed I, to be overly dramatic. And then I literally, literally showed her or whatever that show is, and it's like the most realistic romance out I there. And she was bored. <laughs> and she was bored. What do you want, Emily? No, you what do you want? Back. All right, so so <laughs> Anohana, what are we thinking? S. Okay, okay. okay. So, so yes. Didas wants to put in S. What do you want to put in, Emily? I want to put it in B because I don't think it's a bad show. It's just I I got fixated on too many little details that bothered me throughout the entire okay. show. Okay, that's perfect then because I was actually thinking A, which is like right in the middle. So I think we'll put it in A. We'll, we'll compensate for both. All right, next one, Chobits. Yeah, that that's an A tier. Yeah. 
I put in A. Like, I, I don't think there's any complaints with Chobits. It's fucking yeah. cute. Opening legendary. Yes! Uh. <laughs> Wait, how does it go again? I, I remember it being really annoying, but I like it at like, the same time. It's like, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, 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 Next one, Clan S. Yes. 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 Yep. The best yep. anime! Yep. Yep. Best yep. anime yep. made! No questions asked. I don't care what you say, Emily. I don't care if you haven't even seen it she or never not. watched it. I can't say anything. I haven't seen it. I feel like if you watch it, you're going to shit all over it. And I just don't care, to be honest. Uh, Fruits Basket. S. Why does this seem like a show that was like made for Emily? <laughs> This like this like radiates Emily like energy. Yeah, the main character is literally Emily. It's really yeah. annoying. Like what? looks like Emily, acts like Emily, just yeah. like is Emily. Yeah. This is like yeah. Emily's fanfic that just like happened to get an anime out of it. Toru Honda literally shaped who I wanted to be as a child. She shaped my personality in like fourth grade. Yep, I could see it. Yeah, mm. so I'm gonna give it an S tier. I love it. It is dear to my heart. <laughs> Makes me ugly cry when I watch it. Okay, this this makes you ugly cry, but I'm gonna do it, dude. I, dead inside. Hey, yeah, that made me cry too. I'm not gonna lie, dude. That is, you'll cry at a fucking KFC commercial if you give me a chance, man. Like, all right, all right. So I, I think that we can all agree that it's like at least like an A tier, maybe yes, even an S tier, right? At the very least. All right. Next one, uh, Ichigo 100%. Oh, yo, it's the best! <laughs> dude, let's go! Dude, I was going to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> it's really one of my favorite mangas, like, ever. Okay, not going to lie, like, I was debating whether to put this or Eyes in it, because they're both, like, my favorite yeah. romance manga. Yo, Eyes, go, let's go! Dude, yeah. Charlie, let's go, dude! Dude, Eyes is so eyes good. Eyes is S-tier. Let's Eyes, go, eyes and, I, okay, I'd, I'd admit, Eyes and Ichigo 100%, I think are both yo. S-tier. It's yo, so yo, 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 good. I agree. So S tier, S tier. Thank you, yeah, Joey. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No like, questions. Knowledge. Is it is it like a, a horny boy manga? Is this one of those? Yeah, it's a horny boy manga. All right, next one, Nana. All right, Emily, g give us your trash taste yet again. Oh no! no. What? Well, I read, in my defense, out. in my defense, when I read mm -hmm. Nana, I was eleven, so all the adult relationships were not interesting to me. Dude, Nana is literally made for the female audience, and you couldn't consume it, dude. How? I feel like you should reread it. I have it. You can borrow. Yeah, it. yeah. You should. Yeah, yeah you should you know reread what? it. Yeah, I'll I'll reread it because I think I think when I was a kid, I don't know. I just remember it being super adult. Yeah, it Am is. I super, yeah, it is. It is. I couldn't get into it. I was a kid. Yeah, it's 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 never gonna finish. Oh Let's wait, it's, it's it's still not finished. No, and it's, she it's left on, on a cliffhanger. It's been on hiatus for like what, like ten years. But wow. yeah, Nana's been on a. No, we're probably never going to see the end of Nana. So it sucks because it's so good. It's such a bummer. So what? What are we thinking? I'm I'm willing to maybe put on like an A or B tier. I can't score it appropriately because it has been too long. I will put an A. I just don't a, have any fun memories. Yeah. We'll it. put on an A. We'll put on an A for now. I I liked the fashion in it. If that if that means <laughs> anything. <laughs> Looking at it from an artist size once again, I see. Emily, what did you like about Nana? I like their clothes. I like their clothes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next, uh, Ori Monogatari. S tier. D. <laughs> That's the most, that the most enthusiastic you've ever been. In the video. <laughs> S tier. It's so cute. Made me cry. <laughs> okay, hold on, Didus. Why did you say D? D. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking maybe like a B tier. B. <laughs> 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 what the am I hearing? You would get Orimo an S tier and you get Orimo no Gatari a D! Explain yourself! Listen, the dude is ginormous. His lips is literally the size of her whole head. And also, it's like, she's so tiny. Down there is probably too tiny for his big ass. Stop! It's supposed to be wholesome! <laughs> Why is that the one thing on your mind when you're watching this really I guess it. diabetes inducing anime? All right. Well then uh so we can we all agree that Orimonogatari is D tier? <laughs> 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 all right, go ahead and put in C. You know, I don't hate it. Hey, I'm not putting it in the same level as Orimo. Get out of here with that. It has to be above Orimo. Okay, we'll put oh, it in B tier then. We'll all go right. in the middle, put it in the B tier. My heart, I could not stop smiling when I was watching it. It was so cute. All right, next one. Everyone's favorite school days. <laughs> oh, um, what? 
Uh, next one, Toradora. S. I haven't finished it yet, but I am enjoying it. Although the one little bit bothered me, and I want to rant about it if you don't mind, Joey. No, of course. <laughs> Be my guest. <laughs> okay. I got so weirded out at the one where what's the glasses guy name? He's so unremarkably, so boring. What's his name again? Yeah, the the tropey glasses guy. Right? Glasses guy. They spend like a like three episodes building up his mental breakdown where he hits rock bottom. Mm-hmm. He's like crying himself to sleep, bleaches his hair, does he quits the student council, runs away from home, and like they don't tell the viewer exactly why until like a few episodes later, and you're like, oh my gosh, what happened to this guy? It must have been horrible. And right. then you find out he found out the girl he likes, the student council president. I also forgot her name. She's <laughs> like moving to America to pursue her dream of being an astronaut. And right, you're right. like, that's kind of, okay, that's kind of a dumb reason to have your life in shambles, but whatever, it's anime, I can forgive it. He, he's finally like, fine, I'll, I'll be student council president, whatever. And then in front of the entire student body, he like puts the girl on the spot. And yeah. it's like, I'm in love with you. Uh, and I know you're moving away, but I need you to answer me right now in front of all these people. And, you know, the girl, like a G, she just plays it off as a joke. And then you're supposed to feel bad for him in that moment. But I'm like, I don't feel bad for you. She's thriving. She's moving away. Why would you put her on the spot like that to begin with? (laughs) And then the other thing that confused me is that right afterwards, Taiga is like, oh, how dare you? And that's the like scene where she takes out her little wooden sword thing and like bites her in the classroom. Right. And I'm like, why are they painting it? Like, I'm supposed to be upset with this other girl. I don't think she did anything wrong. Like, she played it off perfectly well. And at the same time, I got so annoyed with Taiga because she's like, you know, obviously she likes the glasses guy and she's upset because this girl, like, broke his heart. But I'm like, bitch, you turned him down too at one point. It's okay if you turn him down. But if this girl turns him down, then it's a problem. I don't get it. (laughs) Anyways. I'm enjoying it so far, but that really <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I'm loving it. S tier. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one is Tsuki Akire. Um, I got uh, to episode six. I thought it was boring. <laughs> I never actually watched this one, I but was- I, thought it was, I heard it was okay. S, 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 I heard it was okay. It's just two middle schoolers being awkward with each other. Yeah, it's realistic. I'm like, because okay, listen, you you just don't like romance. Like you you will watch a unrealistic romance and be like, wow, that's not realistic. And then no, you watch the most realistic different. show that's ever, different. and you're like, this is boring. What do you <laughs> want? What do you want, Emily? Huh? I, I like romantic comedies because I don't have the expectation. Yeah, so you can like, turn off your bonobo brain. You hate character development. You just want like all the characters to be established from episode one and then just watch all of their shenanigans for no, the rest of the I period. Like character development. It's just I have to like the characters. Yeah, and they have to be ugu ugu girls. No, they yeah. Don't. They have to be like pastel colored like rainbow like <laughs> with big eyes. I am I am a wholesome girl. <laughs> <laughs> no. You, you're never attached to any characters because you have no feelings. You're a robot. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not attached to any character unless they look and act exactly like you. <laughs> Stop murdering yeah, her. No. Yeah. Don't that, murder. That's the only reason why you're attached to Toru from Fruits Basket because she's literally you. <laughs> 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 I like other kids. <laughs> She's murdered. No, I like that. We need to call nine one one. Nine one one emergency. We have a dead body here. Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and last but not least, your name. From everything we've established so far in this video, this seems like the type of dramatic romance that you wouldn't like. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah, because it's literally drama romance, but in a, it's like literally every drama romance you don't like in this tier list, but in a movie form. I think that's the thing, though. Emily does it. Emily can do movies, but not shows. So, so it's not about. So it's not about the subject matter. It's about your fucking attention span. <laughs> okay, okay, because I feel like for a lot of the other anime romance dramas, there's always like a shit ton of misunderstandings, and then you have a bunch of shitty characters. This one just kind of gets to the point and has an interesting plot. I don't know. I can't stand the slow burn. I guess. Yeah. So 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 basically, you have a short attention span. Yes! Well. <laughs> That's exactly what you just said. No, it's different. I would put it in S or A. I really enjoyed it. I, okay. I don't have to say, out of all the Shinkai films I've seen, this one's probably my I'm favorite. I'm down to put it in A. I'm down to put it okay, in A. Okay, okay. We can put it in an A. We can put it in A. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. And uh, again, go check out Datus and Emily. Um, and uh, yeah, feel free to 
roast all of our opinions because I'm sure you guys have some uh, interesting opinions about what we said. No. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Like it if you enjoyed. Subscribe for any banter. Keep watching anime. Ciao, now. Bye. Okay. Oh, he did it! He did the thing! He did the thing! <laughs> he said the thing! <laughs> Hi, I spent exactly one week working on this video from start to finish. I'm very tired. I'm gonna go take a nap now. Um, but if you want to check out Joey's version of this collab, head on over to his channel. Um, thank you to Joey and Didus for joining me. Thank you to you for staying till the end if you did. And also, uh, check out today's sponsor, the Battle Cats. As always, links will be in the description. Um, I'm gonna go sleep for a very long time. Bye!